Welcome, friends. Today, we are starting a series of first impressions. Spectacular. So, what I mean by a series of first impressions is I bought the whole zoologist sample set, and there are lots. Uh, I think there's about I think there's about seventeen fragrances here, but I might be wrong. It might be more. Um, there's one pack. There's two packs. Hit him up. Uh, here is the third pack. Sorry, Nightingale. Go and have that. And there is cow. Um, I have been looking to try this entire line for about three or four years now. Um, and I think it's quite interesting. And I've waited and tried to find um, the sample set in Britain so that I could just buy it and it would get here. But eventually, recently, I just decided that I would just buy it straight from the place, straight from the website, sorry. And so I did. And since there would just been a new release, cow, I threw that one in as well. I thought now would be the best time to buy them. And here we are, with all of them. Excellent. So, I'm going to try four in each video, because I, there's no way I can try all of these all at the same time, because it's just, it's just a pointless task. So I'm going to pull four out. I'm probably going to go through each packet at a time and see what happens. But we'll start with cow, because cow's on our own, bless her. We can't have that. And which one shall we, which packet shall we open first? I'll go with Dragonfly. Sorry, Nightingale and Bat, you will have to wait. Where will I put you? Over here. Not on the hydration. I can't put them on top of the hydration. Um, I'll put them there and hope they stay still. So, we're going to try Cow. And what do we have in here? I see Dragonfly. Dragonfly is given as the eye, I feel like. But I don't want to reward it. It's Larry behaviour. So let's see. What do we have in here? There's Dragonfly. Elephant. Hummingbird. Oops. Hyrax. I'll try Hyrax. Someone was saying to us yesterday, try Hyrax. Koala. I like the look, I like the look of his countenance. That's good countenance. Macaque. Oh. Might try macaque. Moth. Not sure about moth. Moth looks a bit frightening. And musk deer. We'll try musk deer and we'll try macaque. Okay. So, we'll put the rest back. There's one, two, three, four, five. Might do them all in one video next time. Um, but yes. So here we are. Today's offerings. Macaque. Musk deer. Musk deer? Yes, please. Hyrax. And cow. Poor cow. We'll try cow first. I feel like she's been on her own too long. Okay, so cow. I'm not reading all of that, but I will read the notes. Um, sage. Apple. Milk. Lily of the Valley, Heliotrope, Violet, and Jasmine. Oof, that heart gives me fear. Base notes, Cedarwood, Vetiver, Benzoine, Musks, and Amber. Nice. Here is the cow. Here is the cow. Now, how now, cow? Let's see how cow goes. Oh, these are those bloody awful sprayers. Les and Damadabla just uh, upgraded their samples. That is definitely something worth doing, in my opinion. But not to worry. Also, just before I start, I got this nice note. That was nice. 
written on some civet paper, or paper for civet. Shelley Waddington was the perfumer for this one, uh, for civet, by the way. Uh, thank you for your order. Best regards, Joe, zoologist. Hello, Joe. Oh, that's quite nice. Fresh, green. I'm getting the apple. The apple isn't like... The apple isn't as, like, potent as it is in... Um, excuse me whilst I hydrate. The apple isn't as potent as it is in Promise. It's not that kind of apple. I'm also getting the milk as well. That's really nice. Oh, oh, oh. green. It's apples in milk. That's like, if you can see the inside of the air, uh, the inside of the card there, it's literally apples and milk. But that's what it smells like. Lush green pastures tumble toward the horizon, arching beneath the imposing silhouette of a mountain range. Cumulus clouds roll over a bright blue sky, their massive shadows gliding over a peacefully grazing herd. In a corner of the meadow, a tiny calf braces quivering limbs and, with mighty lurch, stumbles up to take its maiden steps. Its velvet snout prods, rooting at its mother until the release of warm milch signals a satisfying welcome to this vast new world. Perfumer is Natalie Feisthauser. Feisthauer, I beg your pardon. This is very evocative of like the image um of the of the image. Very evocative of like that sort of thing. It's definitely apples. Apples, milk, bit of vetiver. Um, heliotrope? Yes. Violet? Yes. Not violet leaf. Violet. Fresh. You could wear this. A lot of people saying you can't wear some of the zoologists, and I, I sort of understand the point they're trying to make, but it's milky as well. So strange. I've got a smile on my face though, because I think it's quite cool. Um, I like a cow. I do like cow. I like the look on cow's face as well. It's like a what are you doing sort of look. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, what are you talking about? Next, Hyrax. Hyrax is thick. Look how thick Hyrax is. I've got no neck. Hmm. So the notes in Hyrax, the notes in Hyrax are Elemy, Pink Pepper, Saffron, Turkish Rose, bloody hell, African Stone, Hyacinth, Styrax and Whiskey in the mid. Base notes are Amber, Benzoin, Castorium, Tonka, Civet, Patchouli and Sandalwood. And the Perfumer, is someone called Sven Pritzkolite. Forgive us if I've pronounced that wrong. Pritzkolite. Never heard of you. But this is Dark Jouse. There is the picture. Hyrax. Um, here's the inside of the card. That little mask at the top looks like he's just spotted someone talking shit to him. You what, mate? Anyway. Hyrax, here we go. Shotland Spurs. Ooh. Ooh. It's dark. It's dark. Oh, I like that. Saffron. Oh no, it's something there. Little bit, little bit um, metallic. So I'll read the blurb while I am uh, while I am smelling this. This is potent. First thing I got when I first smelled it was um, Tuscan leather. 
It reminds us of the first time I smelled Tuscan leather and I was like, what is this? This is sort of like that. It's got that sort of bracing saffron note, the kind of like, it, it's like more, it's, it's less bracing than there's like a twang, you know? So anyway, climbing to its perch in the morning sky, the African sun reaches across a mountain range to caress a wide, flat boulder, baking it to a gentle heat. From the shade of a, of a, narrow, of a narrow crevice, a family of hyrax emerges, hot dust dulling the sheen of their golden fur. As the heat from the sweltering sun intensifies, ancient aromas are coaxed from the scorched rock, sparse vegetation and petrified hyrisrium. Hyrisium. Eerily, they intertwine to form a scent that is both primitive and exotic, its animalistic tendencies tamed by an undercurrent of sweet florals. At the heart of zoologist Hyrax is a daring, seldom used ingredient in the art of perfumery, African stone or Hyrisium, giving this bold animalic scent its distinctive signature. I like this for the... outrageousness of it that is very saffrony at the top very saffron at the top um i get a rose as well remember i'm only smelling these on stick i only do my first impressions usually on sticks uh tester sticks so this isn't like a an on-skin test. I might do for this series. I'm going to do just a zoologist series. Um, and see how they go. And then maybe try them all on skin as well, you know. But I mean, fucking hell. What will I smell like? Very interesting. The, 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 the saffron makes it, which is a strange thing to say about saffron because... Saffron's a saffron's an oily, twangy, tangy sort of note, you know. It's calming down a bit now, but it's filthy. It's a dirty smell. I like that. I like it. I I know what people are saying when they say like that stuff's hard to wear. Um because it's very, very abstract. It's very, it's very, I don't want to say picturesque, but it's like, it's like they're telling a story with each perfume and it works. It totally works. Cow, cow is, cow is very interesting because it smells like milk and apples and, and you, you totally get like, when it mentioned like the, uh, the soft snout, I got that I got I got soft snout. I just love the look on its little face. It's like a milkmaid. A cow milkmaid. Interesting. Now, musk deer. Musk deer? Yes, please. We'll read the notes first. Cardamom, calamus oil, rose. Heart notes are sambac jasmine, absolute. Patchouli, cedarwood atlas, labdanum absolute. Base notes are ambrette absolute, oris absolute, laotian oud, and Australian sandalwood. Wow. I mean, if they're all like, if they're not all synthetic and they're all real, then like, Fair play. The perfumer is someone called Pascal Goran. I've never heard of you. Sorry about that, Pascal. Um, but this is interesting because it's like widening, wide, like broadening my horizons. There's the colour of the sample, if that's what you're interested in. And I am. Ooh, in the air fresher let's have a let's have a smell and then we'll read the blurb 
this is probably the most wearable so far from what I can tell. Definitely got that muskiness. Uh, but it's soft musk. You know? I don't know what calamus oil is. If anyone knows what that is, please share. So. Brutal winter. Brutal winter winds buffet the Siberian forest. At the base of several bare trunks, invisible love notes call to would-be mates. The fragrant missives are secretions left by the male musk deer. Long fangs give the buck a demonic appearance, but they too play a role in the mating ritual. Weapons in the tussle with, with rivals for a doe's love. For centuries, musk deer have been hunted to near extinction, coveted for their fragrant musk pods. Zoologist respects this majestic creature, masterfully recreating the distinctive scent through a mixture of synthetic musks and natural oud and florals. The result evokes the animal, the animal desire of a lusty musk deer amid the, ch allure, the alluring chill of a wintry forest, all captured without a hint of menace. He does have the old tusk. I didn't notice the tusk there, but there they are. He's wearing like an old Russian army uniform. Um, not picking up any oud whatsoever yet, but it might be blended to be that way. It can be used as like a, as like as like a um a note to bring out other ones. Uh, I quite like Laotian oud as well from the, from the different ouds I've tried. It's very well blended. It's well made uh, because nothing particularly sticks out. Apart from that muskiness, that fresh, clean muskiness. Maybe the cedar wood as well. Bit of patchouli. Not getting much rose. It's interesting. This is probably the most wearable so far, but it is different. Um, it's different and it's interesting. If you like musks, I'm getting, I'm getting the slightest overtone, the slightest of overtone to Kiel's original musk, which is lovely. Um, but I think it just might be that just that musk sort of vibe you know macaque up the macaque how are you macaque it looks like he's a, a learned monkey you know we'll see what you've got for we will read the notes so Top notes are Japanese yuzu, mandarin and juniper berry. Heart notes are myrrh, hinoki wood, hydrocarbon resin. What is that? Base notes are New Caledonian sandalwood, oak moss absolute, olibanum hyper absolute. And the perfumer, another one I haven't heard of, is called Mackenzie Riley. So, I feel like we're learning together today. We'll put this back. Oops. Fresh, I'm getting that yuzu even before I've sniffed the... Big yuzu. You tell yuzu straight away. It reminds you instantly of... um. It's like a lemonade note. It's not a lemon note, but like a lemonade. It feels like it's got bubbles in it. Like really fizzy. Sharp. Interesting. Not how you would have thought this was a... How they would have interpreted a monkey. You know? Woody. As well. I don't know what. I'm not entirely sure what Hinoki wood is. But I'm getting like the sandalwood. I'm getting. 
a bit of oak moss. I'm getting wood, the juniper berry as well. The juniper and the yuzu and the mandarin, the, the top notes are very prominent at the top, as you would expect, but... Really interesting, quite piney. Okay, let's read the blurb. Against the backdrop of a mountainous terrain, two communities share a peaceful coexistence, yet, despite their proximity, the societies are distinctly unique. Macaques cavort among the trees, grasping with delight at nature's bountiful pleasures. From the quiet solemnity of a nearby temple, their human neighbours regard them, coveting the monkeys, the monkeys as playful abandon. The macaques are all but oblivious, sparing only the briefest of curious glances at the pensive faces below before surrendering once again to their carefree revels. Sweet notes of yuzu dance through a pine forest as a pioneer, welcoming you to zoologist macaque. Incense adds gravity with aromas of hinoki wood and myrrh. The delicate balance between heavy and light results in an austere woody scent with mild hints of creamy sandalwood. I'm getting the juniper much more now. Juniper always gives me an austere sort of vibe. Maybe it's because I'm a massive fan of um, Lord of Men, which is a massive juniper fragrance. It's good stuff. I like it. Um, the oak moss in it gives it like an age as well. You've got juniper. You've got myrrh. Um, there's oak moss. Gives it like an almost au sauvage type of vibe. It's very good. I like it. I like that a lot. It's got a, a fresh sort of vintage feel about it. So, good times so far with the four I have tried. It was very interesting. I'm a fan. So let's see what Cow's doing at the minute. Oh, what does that smell like? That milky sort of note. I've smelled it somewhere before. It's a sweet, milky sort of thing going on. It's really pleasant. It's really nice. You could wear that. That would be really good on a lass, on a woman. Hyrax. That's dark. A little bit animal. Well, very animalic. Almost poopy, pissy. But it reminds us of it reminds us so much at the top of Tuscan leather. It was so the first time I smelled Tuscan leather, I was like, what? What is this madness? I really like Hyrax. Hyrax is uh might be something I get a bottle of at some point. Musk deer is musky and probably the easiest wear. Maybe he's with the exception of macaque. I'll come on to macaque in a minute. Fresh, musky, creamy. It's getting a little bit darker too. It's got sand, yeah, the sandalwood, the cedar wood, patchouli. Didn't get any of the rose. A little bit of cardamom. Maybe it's a little bit. I have no idea what calamus oil is. So maybe that's what I'm smelling. Amber and absolute. It's really pleasant that. If I was more. I'm not a big musk. A big musk wear. I mean I've got original musk by Kiehl's. And I mean. For my money. You're going to you're gonna struggle to get a better one. For the money. It's like 50 quid for a bottle. And it's it's quality stuff. You know. Um, and then macaque, up oh, macaque, it's got that vintage, fresh, green, 
mossy sort of thing going on. It's very nice. Yuzu edition. Ooh. Is there a different? Is there a different edition? That's really nice. I'm really impressed with these four so far. All of them. Um, Hyrax is something I am going to spend more time with. I might even put it on skin. Well, I might go back through all of them and put them on skin. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, today's winner has definitely been Hyrax for me. That's a, that's That would be a great perfume for uh, autumn and winter, I think. So... I hope you have enjoyed my first impressions of my the first four zoologist I have decided to try. I need to buy some more test strips because I've run out. Um, again, I hope you have enjoyed this first impressions, and I will see you again soon. Bye.